going on guys? I hope you're all having a great day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the little truck intro I had for you guys. A lot of you guys have been commenting down below how you missed the truck, you missed the truck videos, things like that. I do too. I just really don't have too much going on with it. So in the beginning of this video, I'm going to be talking about the truck, just the things that have been going on with it here lately, which is nothing too much. I mean, the truck's been driving good, but I'm just going to talk about the truck a little bit, update you guys on it. And then the rest of the video is going to be riding with the new 1000. I know you guys also want to see videos on that. My 850 as well. And then my brother's 850 which is back there. I don't know if you guys can even see it, but the majority of this video is going to be ATV videos. But in the beginning, I did want to talk about truck a little bit, and we may even be shooting a little bit of guns in this video too. So truck, ATV, guns, that's all what this channel is about. So with that said, we'll jump right into the truck. So what's going on with the truck here lately? Uh, honestly, not too much. Like I said in the beginning, I don't really have any truck mods really uh, going on right now with it. The only two things I'm looking at getting for the truck here soon is going to be track bars, hopefully color match, and then powder coating the valve cover and turbo inside the engine bay to make it look a little bit better. Also got a custom headlight build being built right now actually as we speak so that's coming up too because these things are looking like crap. So I do have some custom headlights being built as we speak. So custom headlight build, traction bars that are going to look really good hopefully color match. I think that's going to look sweet and then also inside the engine bay valve cover turbo powder coated that's in the works right now as well. This past week, I know I haven't been uploading here lately. I've just been so busy with work. I actually haven't even had my phone this past week because I've been in the field, just keep walking around. But I've been working so much here lately. I'm just trying to spit out as much videos as possible, but keeping them pretty interesting. Oh, and also before I forget, I did also do an oil change here last weekend with the truck. Uh, Amsoil products, if you guys are needing Amsoil products or oils for anything from like a dirt bike to a dang jet ski to a truck or car, hit up my guy Jason. His name is always in the description below. He can get you dealer cost on Amsoil products. So I run all Amsoil products from transmission fluid, diff fluid, oil, run all Amsoil products in the truck. And if you're just now getting into the diesel game and wondering what the best oil to run, I'm sure many guys can agree in the comment section down below, Amsoil is definitely gonna be the best. I know when I first got in the diesel game, I really didn't know which path to go with, but I read up on the forums, listened to you guys' comments down below, and Amsoil is what I decided to go with about a year ago, and I've been running them ever since. So again, hit up Jason in the comment section down below. That's been going on with the truck, just a few preventative maintenance things. Got the alignment done after the new track bar went on there and the new steering stabilizer. Uh, but nothing really too much. Got the tires rotated and balanced. Just a few preventative maintenance things that I haven't really been videotaping because you guys know how to change the oil, freaking rotating and balance. I didn't even do that. I had to take it to a shop. Things like that that haven't really been garage, in garage kind of updates or anything like that. And we've been focusing on the 1000 here. Give you guys kind of a quick walk around. So that's what's going on with the truck. We're going to jump right into the ATV portion of the video. C1000 triple black. My 850 that I still don't know what I'm going to do with. A lot of you guys say I should keep it for the wife, which I may end up doing. And we got a little Paisley running out here. She's ready to ride today. She wears her helmet. I try to get her to wear her helmet all the time, but then she ends up taking it off half the time. But we, of course, never ride rough with her on the ATVs anyways. But that's the 850. That's the 1000. Jump right over here to my brother's. You know his channel, What the Duck. He's been pumping out some really good videos here lately. He actually flipped it on his very first ride. You guys are seeing that video. He definitely takes this thing to the limits. He definitely doesn't treat it like a new ATV or baby it or anything like that. We definitely don't baby these things. A lot of you guys are like, drive faster, drive faster. But <laughs> y'all are saying drive faster when we're like in the mud holes and things like that. It's funner just to dig through these mud holes and go slow than uh, actually just full throttle the whole entire time like you guys want. But we'll see about doing a little bit of full throttle into the mud today. A lot of you guys have been requesting that. But I absolutely love this 850. This color is beautiful. Color matched coils. Got a little bit of color action. Color match action going on back there. The front, the Fox suspension. And he really seems to love this thing so far. But with that said, we'll probably hit the trails. I'll catch up with you guys here on the trails in a minute. And we'll see you out there. All right guys, so we made it out to the trail about 30 minutes ago and I recorded an intro coming out here like with audio recording and all that like I normally do. We went trail riding along these woods back here behind the property 
and like went down a little bit. It was some really nice trails. And then I realized my camera wasn't even recording that entire time. But we're about to play around in this mud pit real quick. We're gonna let the wife hold the camera outside of the mud pit. We've already been playing around. She's had fun and we're also gonna have a little bit of fun uh, letting her drive after we get done recording this video. So you guys don't worry about that. You guys are always concerned about her having fun too. Trust me, she does have fun a lot with these things. But she's gonna stand out here, record a little bit while we go through this hole. We got the, of course, 1000 already showed you, 850 and 850 XMR model right there, my brothers. We've already had a lot of fun so far. We've got these things uh, in both me and my brother in two low. We've got them a little bit bogged down, just a little bit, and then we hit it in four low and of course crawled right out. So we're gonna go a little bit deeper with a good camera, hopefully get some good shots. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you here in a second.
on guys hope you're liking the video so far we just set up some targets right here if you've been in the army you probably recognize these targets because they're like the m4 m16 qual targets they're not meant for pistol whatsoever but it's all i could grab in my garage at the time so we're going to show you what we're going to be shooting today me and my buddy chris so we both have the glock 23 that shoots the 40 caliber this one's his he's got an aftermarket barrel on it but his is the gen 3 not many differences between the gen 3 and the gen 4 which is i have right here it's a gen 4 pretty much the same exact wep weapon system we just got some federal ammunition and like i said the targets up there you guys probably recognize them if you've been in the army i don't know if the other branches use the same targets then they look like this up close see they're for m16 or m4 25 meter qual targets actually the army just switched their qual now they're using the q target they're called the q targets so if you've been out for a little bit, we're not actually doing this qual anymore. It's a new qual that just came out here just recently. But we're going to be using these. are some old ones I got from an old unit of mine. But we got the Can-Am. I'm going to set you guys up on the front of the Can-Am with this camera. We're going to be on the firing line. We'll start off with like some easy shots and then work our way back. So I'll we'll set you guys up here on the four-wheeler and we'll catch up with you here in a second. Hell yeah. All right guys, so it's getting kind of dark out here. So we're gonna go ahead and end out this video. Show you guys how we were shooting a little bit. His front sight post is giving him some problems. So not really gonna show you his. Mine didn't do too bad. We're just kind of messing around, shooting really fast. Uh, the first, about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I wanna say. I don't know. I. I think when I was shooting from 15 meters when I was warming up, this is where I kind of hit my seven shots right here. I pulled one, obviously. Then this one I think I hit when I was walking, if I remember correctly. Then we stepped back to about 25 meters, and obviously it being a bigger target, we did a little bit better right there. Hit all of them in except this one, which I even think this might have been when I was walking too. Then when I was walking, I was more focused on this target right here when I was walking. And then the first few shots kind of hit pretty good. Then as you can see, I hit one up here. I pulled that one, way pulled this one, and there was another one. That I pulled, oh, right here. I pulled this one right here when I was walking at the last time. I need to start marking them so I can show you guys for real. Like, I put a ones or twos or threes, depending on the set that I'm at right there. But like I said, his his front side post was giving him issues, so he was just kind of more having fun than anything. Hunter and Casey are on the 850s. They're kind of just trail riding right now having a little bit of fun. We don't have enough ear pro for everybody or ear protection, whatever you want to call it for everybody. So they're staying a good far amount of ways away. The freaking 1000 is really dirty. I think we're about to take it through a little bit more mud though. Looking nasty as always. I am so impressed with her right now, guys. She has done great. I've barely had to give her any throttle all day. These freaking tires, these silverbacks have done really, really good. 
I was gonna, I told you guys when I first got this ATV that I really didn't like the Silverbacks, heard bad things about them, but I was gonna give you a feedback on how they were doing a couple weeks after I had it. So this is that time, these Silverbacks are doing great. That's the feedback I got for you guys. My brother actually made a comment on it earlier how good the Silverbacks were kicking up mud and digging through the mud when he was looking out from the outside in when he was looking from the shore. He was kind of seeing the tires dig and he was saying they were doing really, really good. And like I said, I was barely giving it any throttle. I think I went in four wheel three times today and we probably rode for about hour and a half two hours so good quite a bit of time in two wheel and she did amazing that is going to do it for this video guys i hope you did enjoy if you did please leave a like down below it really helps a lot with the youtube search results my brother what the duck his channel link is always in the description below make sure you check out his channel he recorded a really nice video today that he's going to be posting tomorrow you guys should really check it out but with that said that's going to do it for this one we'll probably cut up a little bit more as it gets darker but the camera probably isn't going to do that good in low lights that's why i'm ending the video now i'll see you guys in the next one